Hey there, welcome to another episode of In David's Kitchen. And as you can see, we're actually not in the kitchen. We're at the Backdoor Bar. This is a viewer request. Uh, we, uh, Tyler and I ran the Backdoor Bar at a family reunion up in Montana. So this was a viewer request. Thank you so much. Keep sending those requests in. Uh, some great bar recipes. Today is actually my birthday also. So what better way to kick off my birthday today than to do some drinks and teach you guys a few of my favorite drinks. So first one, let's start off with a shot. This is going to be a Montana drink. This is a Chuck Norris shot. A uh, really easy drink. Take your shot uh, your shaker, put in some ice. To that, we're going to add three ounces of Dr. McGillicuddy's cherry liqueur. This stuff is fantastic. It's sometimes hard to find. Found out a local Total Wine and More store, so it's easy to find. So this is a three ounce shot glass. And then we're going to top that off with our shaker. Get that nice and cold. Give that a good shake. And then into our two shot glasses. about halfway. That nice cold cherry liqueur. And then you're going to top that with liquid ice blue energy drink. So we're going to put that right on top of there. And there we have our first drink. Chuck Norris energy shot. And we're going to be giving this to our cameraman. Cheers. Happy birthday. Yeah. So awesome. That's drink number one. So our second drink we're going to do is also a Montana drink. This is a Montana lemonade. If you go up to Montana ever, you'll see in the gift shops, all the liquor stores and everything, lots of huckleberry. And so I thought when I was there, what better way to honor the Montana huckleberry than to make it into a drink. So we're going to do a huckleberry lemonade. Really easy drink. Just take your basic glass like this. Fill it with some ice. And then take a shot of Huckleberry Vodka. This is 44 North. This is actually one is it made from Montana. A little hard in Northern California here to get Montana Huckleberry Vodka. But you can find the true stuff. It makes it fantastic. So one shot of that into our glass. And... And then just take good old-fashioned lemonade, fill up your glass with that, and give it a quick stir. And there you go. Cheers. That is a Montana lemonade. Mm. Cameraman needs something to drink. Okay, we're going to go into two other ones, a um, little bit more complicated, um, some mixing involved here. This next one is one of my favorite drinks. This is a drink I invented probably 20-some years ago. Uh, it's called the Ray of Light. It was actually named in honor of my friend Ray Rhodes. And it was also at the same time that the Madonna song, the Ray of Light song, came out. So perfect name for this uh, drink. So we're going to take a mixing glass. We have a beautiful little mixer glass here. Fill that with some ice. And take our shot glass. And take one shot of Malibu rum. Nice, good, generous shot. And take half a shot of banana shap. Banana snaps. Ooh, that Chuck Norris is getting to me. Half a shot of banana snaps. Schnapps. I can't say that word today. There you go. Half a shot there. And this is a liqueur that I love, Galliano. It's a nice little flavor uh, to it. You're just going to add a good splash of the Galliano. To that. There you go. So this is all often in the classic Harvey Wallbanger. So golly auto. Then to that, I'm gonna add about four ounces of pineapple juice. Sorry, shaker there. Take our mixing spoon. Give that a good mix. Serve that up. 
and your glass. Perfect pour there. And there you go. You got a ray of light. Mm. Cheers. That's one of my favorite, favorite drinks. So our last drink we're going to be making is a classic margarita, one of my favorites. Um, a lot of people ask how to make margarita. They just use bad mixer or stuff like that. So I want to teach you and show you how to make a good classic margarita. First step. It's over here. You're going to take your lime. You want to use a fresh lime for your classic margarita. And use your lime. Take the top of the glass. If you like salt, give it a good swipe there. And dip it in some kosher salt. Fill out with ice. Perfect. Just like that. And then we're going to take another shaker. Put a little ice in there. And do a shot of tequila. Now on tequila, treat your Treat yourself to a really good tequila. So this is a really nice tequila. This is a good silver one. Um, uh, La Adelata. I think it's been about 30 bucks on this bottle. So treat yourself to a nice bottle of tequila when you're buying this. Don't buy some $10 Cuervo or something like that. Sorry, Cuervo. They don't sponsor it. Um, but use yourself a good tequila. Then you want to take your lime squeezer. And you're going to put half a fresh lime in there. There we go. And the margarita mix. Again, on your margarita mix, find yourself a good margarita mix. This is uh, Trace Agaves. If you can find this one, um, this is a really, really good margarita mix. Find this one made with really good fresh limes, um, good juice. It's probably one of my favorites. Not too sticky sweet like some sweet and sour that you'll find out there. Uh, give that about three, four ounces into your mixer. And good. Get our top going here. And then give that a good shake. Now shake that up. Mix everything up nice and good there. And then take our margarita. Just pour that in. You're going to leave a little room on the top. I'm going to give to that. Just a splash of fresh orange juice and a splash of Cointreau. So we have some Cointreau here. So some people use Grand Marnier in this. You can use Cointreau. I like Cointreau better than Grand Marnier. You can use either one. And just give that a good splash on top. Helps give the nice balance of that orange, the lime, and the sweet and sour. So there you go. Cheers. Perfect margarita. So there you go. Four great recipes for some easy drinks. Maybe right now in the quarantine, you can have some drinks, order some BevMo delivery, or when this is over, you have four drinks to throw your next party. So thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us at the Backdoor Bar. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time back in the kitchen. And again, if you have any requests for anything, please send them in. Would love to make your favorite meal. Thanks so much. Have a great day, guys.